Mike Bassick from 105.3 The Fan here tonight to talk some Rangers, the former big leaguer, of course, with a unique perspective on what's happening with this team. First, though, NBA free agency. Uh, the Mavs miss out on Mello. Third straight year they've, they've whiffed on their uh, biggest free agent desire. But it sounds as though they've agreed with Chandler Parsons on an offer sheet, which the Rockets, of course, can match. But what do you make of that? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm excited Carmelo's not coming to Dallas. And I'm really excited about Chandler Parsons possibly coming to Dallas. I think he meets a lot of the needs that the Mavericks have after acquiring Tyson Chandler. Now, is he going to be a Dallas Maverick? I guess in about three days we'll find out if Houston matches or not. All right, let's go to the Rangers now. Uh, they've dropped a series to the lowly Astros, and, and really the only interesting aspect of this season apparently will be whether the Rangers can stay out of last place. Uh, injuries clearly a factor, but but how much heat does the general manager John Daniels deserve for not fortifying the roster to the point where they could at least be competitive in spite of the injuries? Some, but not a lot. There's not much you can do when you lose the right side of your infield and you lose four out of your five pitchers that you felt like you could count on this season. At the same time, there were certain things that maybe he could have done because Derek Holland's injury was before the season started, before spring training, but you can't give him a whole bunch of blame. It's, it's just it's tough to watch the Rangers right now, but when you are competing for last place in baseball, there's blame to go around. And I guess I've assumed, and most people have assumed, that because of the injuries, Ron Washington sort of insulated this year from the possibility of losing his job. But I wonder if it gets bad, like to an unprecedented ex extent, if maybe Wash won't, won't be in the hot seat as well. I think he actually is, because one of his best traits was motivating teams that maybe weren't the best. And we saw this in 07 and 2008, when this team was an under 500 team, but you felt like, Boy, are they giving it their all, and boy, are they staying in games against tough teams. And that's not the case this year. And if he loses that clubhouse and loses his way to motivate some rookie guys and some fringe AAA slash big league guys, then maybe Wash, over time, has lost his touch in Texas and needs to go on to another managerial job to help another team. You know, there's silly talk about the Nolan Ryan curse. Nobody believes that, do they? But you were talking on the radio this morning about kind of a, a tangible mm -hmm. thing that this franchise misses about uh, Nolan Ryan not having him here. Yeah, guys like uh, Michaelis and Martinez and now Irwin, who's called up. These guys aren't big league pitchers per se that are going to stay in the big leagues for a long time, but Nolan Ryan could take them aside and give them confidence and talk about their fastball and how it can work in the big leagues and the breaking ball is okay. And all of a sudden, after Nolan Ryan's talked to you, you feel like that next start, whether you're going to have a great start or not, now you can take the mound feeling, Nolan Ryan believes in me, I'm going to believe in me. And it doesn't mean this team would win a division this year, but it wouldn't be as bad as it is. And the other thing, too, is Mike Max can't bounce off ideas on Nolan Ryan. He might be able to call him because they're buddies, but I don't think Nolan Ryan's trying to help out Mike <laughs> Maddox anymore with this pitching staff. Well, there's one Ranger who's managed to make the cover of a national magazine, and that's Prince Fielder. Uh, I'm wondering, as a former big leaguer, if, if you were ever asked to pose nude for the cover of a magazine. No. Uh, I think if anybody saw me after I got out of the shower and putting my clothes on, no. But I will tell you this. Prince Fielder, I think, has given a lot of people confidence that they can take somewhat nude photos and people say it's okay because that's a big man. Well, our art department wondered what, what might Mike oh. Bassick look like oh. on, on the cover of uh, ESPN, The Body. And, and there we go, following through with the... Uh, with the swing, oh, I like that one. That you know. would be the tough one for me to do, too, because I have a gut, and that's going to perch out right there. The baseball swing, I think I can get away with that one. I asked my wife if I could do that, and she decided to uh, say, no, you cannot do that for radio purposes. I wish I looked that good when I look at myself <laughs> in the mirror uh, in the morning. Mike Bassick, 105.3 The Fan, middays on the G-Bag Nation. As always, thanks for coming Thanks. In.